All right, we're about to play with these guys. Three different chameleons and some clear on a tray. So hang on. Howdy, howdy, this is Claire Lawrence, and we're gonna keep it a little bit simple today because I think I want to also showcase the wood, but also showcase the chameleons too. So I thought we would do something simple, kind of a variation on something I've already poured before. So first up, I was, I'm gonna do a, a base of clear, and I'm gonna do a little bit more than I normally do, so not really a skin coat. And I'm just going to heat it up really well so it really will flow. And I'm just going to give it a good tilt here real quick and coat this up. So what I was thinking of doing is I did a couple of trays recently where I applied the color and then brushed it around. And I'm kind of going to do the same thing here. And one of these trays, I'm thinking about, I don't know, maybe I should do some alcohol ink on top of this. I wonder how that would look. So I might do a subtle tray with just a little bit that could show through. Okay, maybe I need to do a little bit more clear. Just a smidge. I'm not adding a ton of color, but it's enough. I want to make sure I have enough coverage. Anyway, I was really, really happy with how that tray turned out with the uh, chameleons on there. And especially when you got up close and it had a lot, kind of some brush stroke and some texture to it. That was cool. And I love wood grain showing through too. So let's see if we can try and do this intentionally and make this happen. All right, come on. You know, if you're doing a clear coat on something already slick and you heat it up and do the same process that I just did now, it goes a lot faster because <laughs> it, it glides rather well, whereas here it's catching the, uh, the grain of the wood and so that naturally it wants to slow it down. All right, come on. All right, I'm gonna just touch this area here and get these coated with my fingers and that'll help it when the uh, resin kind of self levels. So that's that. So I've got, I've, <laughs> I got some new chameleons, um, meaning I ordered some more from, uh, from Erica uh, over at Ours Till Death. And I also have a brand new color she just came out with, which I'm super excited because I got to use it on a big project. And uh, you'll get to see that in a bit. But what I did get is chameleons that actually have labels so you can see what they are. So I'm using Dalmatian and Mother Knows Best. And then the new one is called Grumpy, which Jeff got, to, <laughs> Jeff got the name on that one. So what we're gonna do here is simply take and brush this stuff on. So not hard at all. Where should I pour it on? You know what? I'm going to pour this on. I'm going to change my mind. Just a little bit. That way I can get some colors to meld together. That's what I'm going to do. So let's see if we can do a little bit of a spiral.
Okay, not worried about that a little bit. All right, this might look pretty. Well, we should be able to get some wood grain coming through this, which I'm, that would be really nice. And then the last one, I think this is, oh, this might be grumpy. Dalmatian, I think, has green tones in it, and that's what you're seeing right now. And um, grumpy definitely has some purple tones to it. Because, boy, it did show up on that last project I worked on. Whew, it was pretty. I know I'm teasing you with the other project, but that's okay. You can heal it. Okay, now what I've got here is a brush that is commonly used for people who do resin in tumblers because of the shape, it makes it easy for applying. And what I'm gonna do here is instead of brushing it down, I'm gonna kind of skin it over the top. And that'll move the colors around. It'll also take some of the resin with it. Oops, let's try that again. There we go. And it'll give it a little bit of a brushy look to it. We're not going for accuracy. We're going for more of a, a look to the piece, meaning texture. And I will get rid of those drizzles in just a moment. And by going in the direction of where the, the swirl is going, I can clean up those edges easily. All right. I'm about to lift this up, so well, let's try that again. Let's see if I can get up underneath it. There we go. All right, let me clean off my hands real quick. Man, I miss my old paper towels. I got some, uh, you know, of course our local grocery store is having you know starting to recover back as far as paper products and stuff like that but they still say you know um whatever we have in stock so you don't really get the pick of what you want as far as even the brands and such so what i'm going to try and do is just touching up so, trying to touch up some of these okay come on claire come on you can do it here we go Was a little spot there I wasn't real crazy about. All right, let me bring you in so you can, whoop, you want? Hit that real fast. So it's a very soft piece. It's not a lot of drama to it, but sometimes I think soft is better. I see all the light. That's coming through that is actually not light that is the wood color showing up all right let me zoom you in let's see how pretty that looks you get little bits of wood coming through some of that texture might remain some of it might soften out as the particles settle down but you're still gonna get the shifting look. I can't do this on camera. I keep trying, but I don't succeed very much. But I definitely like when you get the little trail bits and it's also super sparkly too. All right, until tomorrow. So we had a minor situation that happened right after I turned off the camera. This little dude decided to hop right into the middle of that. A little, yep, a little bigger there. Anyway, he's gotten covered with resin, which means he's pretty much a goner on this part. Um, but I do want to bring into mind, if you get a critter or a bug that gets stuck in your resin, pick it out as much as you can out of your resin um, after it's cured. If you can get it out, obviously, before it's cured, that's better. But pick it out as much as you can 
and sand that area down and lightly sand the entire area down lightly. And then do a clear coat on top of it. You should be able to get rid of the texture. That's how you fix that. If you happen to get it out before, let's say it gets to that super, super, well, I guess when it gets to that super sticky stage, you can still get it down. It might actually self level and be okay. If it's much past that, just get it out as best as you can. And you might have to still sand it down a little bit and do a clear coat. hit the subscribe button but definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video up later y'all